Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Friday, February 8th, 2019, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From SC Magazine, a spam-based phishing campaign recently targeted North American banking customers trying to infect victims with the information-stealing TrickBot Trojan. The spam emails featured fake domains that appeared to be from J.P. Morgan Chase and Bank of America. While these campaigns tend to focus more on Europe, this one has not been seen across the pond just yet. From ZDNet, Google has open-sourced ClusterFuzz, one of its automated bug hunting tools that has helped it find around 16,000 bugs in Chrome. Until now, only Google engineers and select open source projects have been able to use ClusterFuzz, but now any software developer can use the automated bug hunter. Happy hunting, kids. From Security Week... Five vulnerabilities have been identified in a gateway made by German-based Kunbus, including flaws that can be exploited to take complete control of a device. Of the five vulnerabilities, two are classified as critical and two as high severity. Patches have been released for four of the vulnerabilities with the last one due later this month. From ZDNet, the powerful tryout malware has been found hiding in the Siphon privacy app. The malware collects vast amounts of information about victims by recording phone calls, monitoring text communications, stealing photos, taking photos, and collecting GPS information. The app is used to bypass censorship on the internet predominantly downloaded by users living under repressive regimes. The version available in the official Google Play Store boasts over 10 million installations. And closing out the week from Medium.com, Jeff Bezos is being blackmailed by the National Enquirer and their parent, American Media, who is threatening to publish nude selfies, specifically below-the-belt selfies, of the Amazon CEO. They want Bezos and the Washington Post, which he owns, to affirm that they have no knowledge or basis for suggesting that the Enquirer's coverage was politically motivated or influenced by political forces. Well, Jeff ain't having none of that, and published the communications himself, including the written extortion note from the Inquirer's lawyers. Click the link, go to Medium, read the whole thing. As you do that, let me know. Is it just me, or does the 12-year-old inner self of all of us keep giggling about the fact that the guy who wants to publish the dick pic is named Pecker? That's enough for me this week. Have a fantastic weekend, and until Monday, be safe out there.